Next. So they call this one a 20 inch mulcher. <laughs> but it's got a Oh, cool, it does have the cover. Look at that. So you can take this cover off, right? One minute. Don't go anywhere now. Nice. There. Usually, these are missing. And they just fit on top of there like that. And then you don't have the exhaust out the side, it mulches. That's a really nice feature. So now, I, I think this is the only the second one of these, and you guys know how many Tecumseys that I fix. Although this is a, uh, who, who makes this frame? Doesn't matter. Probably an old MTD. But anyway, that's a nice feature, guys. So if you're on a farm and you want to side discharge, you're going around trees or fences or something like that, you got that. And if you don't, you just slip that piece in and mulch away. So isn't that nice? I didn't even notice that when I pressure washed it. Yes, you didn't see that. And I apologize. Sorry, I apologize so much. So now, back to the reality at hand. I poured some gas into this thing. And the gas came shooting right straight through the carburetor. So do I show you that again or do I just carry on and uh, uh, pull the carburetor off and see why it's leaking? Let's go step by step. That's why I ordered four of these. Are you with me? Um, I think we're going to bring this baby up into the air. You're watching, right? Yep. So I don't know whether to just pull this bowl off of here or pour some gas in and actually see where the gas is coming out. It's clean as a whistle in there. So let's get some fuel. So I'm going to get some gas. Ugh. Petrol. Gasoline. Go juice. Grassoline. And I'm just going to put some gas into this guy. Maybe, oh I don't know, quarter of a liter. I'm going to see where it's going to leak from. Look at that, right out of there. See that? So that means that the uh, needle and seat are wide open. So let's not waste any more of that, uh, that very valuable fuel. And we're going to get that uh, bowl off of there with a half inch. Ratchet wrench. You guys are watching over there, and I'm working over here. Is that? Oh, it's it's number two things. I think it's a seven sixteenths can. It is. 
Well, I'll be. Oh, this is an old lawnmower. That's the bolt, and there's a jet in there as well, but that's not our issue. It may be an issue, but it's not our issue right now. Okay, I'm going to just disconnect this, let her flow, and see if that stops it. It does. Now, how far do I go on this? Is that a, I wonder if there's gas in that uh, bowl, float bowl, or float, I guess it's called. Gonna pull that float bowl off of this. All I'm doing is checking to see if there's a, uh, there it is. Holy! There's water in it. Can you, I wonder if you guys can hear that. Can you hear that? So it's no good. You can fix them. But I got lots of them. Sorry about that. So that was a good hunch I had there. So now I'm going to uh, clean the bowl out and get another bowl. And when they're down like that, you got to make sure there's also no no leak in the in the in this bowl here too. Okay, well let's go find one. See if I, I've got lots of those. I'll be right back. Best demo ever. Here's let's just put a little more. Oh no, we got it. I think that's going to be enough. Let's, here's a normal float, right? See how it sits there mostly. Well, half and half underwater, in water, and the part with the hinge on it goes deeper. Okay. Watch this one. Sinks right down, doesn't it? Now, this gas looks terrible, but it's probably just got a little oil in it. It's all been filtered. So, let's see if we can put this back together again now. Be right back. Now, I know a lot of guys really dislike Tecumseh, but we have so many of them out here in Western Canada that I have just learned their quirks. And I just had a feeling, I had a feeling about this uh, float being heavy. It's heavy with gas. So now I'm going to take the same needle and the new float. I'm going to try and put this back together again. It's not as easy as you think because the angles and the dangles are all weird. So I'll try and get it on film. Almost. If I can get it started through the one end, well, that, oh, it fell there. Uh -huh. So this is the brain surgeon part, eh? And this isn't going to guarantee me anything. I'm just going to try this before I have to challenge myself with seals and intake gaskets and all that other stuff, right? 
You guys can't see this. I wish I could show you. Okay, I'm almost there. So, so interesting. I think we're there actually. We just have to push another eighth of an inch. I went to grab the uh, hemostats thinking it was my needle nose. Okay. That should do it. Huh. I'm just going to clean this a little bit better. I'm going to get a bit of steel wool. This is the dangerous part, guys. You don't want tiny steel wool particles in your carburetor. So do it over the floor, not the dish. Good. Now the other one, the other thing is this, uh, you gotta check the holes for being plugged on this jet right here. We'll bring the Bring the light right in here. That one's clear. There's one sideways one there. I know it's weird, eh? And then there's one at the base. Good. Okay, back to the drawing board. Let's just get you in there and show you what I did. It might be fun. I can do this. Right there. See the needles going up and down, and the pin to put in is right by my finger there. Okay, I'm going to stick this bolt in and see if we can get a good seal. Because you have to have a good seal for the primer on the bowl. Are you guys still watching this craziness? Yes, you are. Wow! Okay, let's take this hose off of here. And now that carburetor's filling up again. The gas capped back on. There's gas in there. So hopefully now, the old float, which has gas in it, is not in there, and that shouldn't leak. How long do you wait? Forever. I'm going to just have a look at the blade. Well, you know, it's not that bad for an old lady. Okay. One, two, three, four. Lower it down. So I got my coat on. And we'll see if it starts.
Bow chicken, wow, wow. Here you go, there's another Tecumseh for you, Mick. A float bowl full of, full of gas. So now, it's at the tune-up stage already. Cool! Well, it's an old machine. The blade is pretty balanced. I did sharpen both sides. And I'm going to pop it back on. I'm not going to worry about this anymore. Okay, now we got the plug disconnected. We might as well have a look at that, eh? It's an RJ19LM. We'll clean it up. It's running at 2960 RPMs. Oh, she's a little schmoky. But I believe in it. I'm going to clean it up on the wire brush. And it might have been running rich because of that. The last time it's been running with that float bowl flooding the carburetor, right? So let me just clean this up. Yes, my hands are wet. I just washed them. But look at that. That is probably a 25-year-old spark plug. It's heavy, and it's an RJ19LM. It's going back in. All right, it measures 18K from tip to tip, and no leaking to ground. It's a good spark plug. Now I'm going to do what my buddy Wayne does, you know who you are, and I'm going to take a half inch, a half inch socket and just tighten the, the head bolts I can get to near the muffler. He says that helps a bit, but you can't get them all, huh? like up there. Two that had any slack on them at all. So that's nice, Wayne. All right, what do we got here now? Let's give it a couple pumps. And it should start with one bolt. Wow, chicken, wow, wow. 3,120. You don't have to see it. It's on this little guy right there. All right, on this one, I'm going to, I tilted it from the other side, and I'm just going to take the three quarter inch. Oh, there's my little friend. And I'm going to change the oil. Thanks, guys.